What's going on everybody? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, so we got a new radio that we put in recently in our 2020 Ford Raptor here at the shop. Uh, let me show you what we got going on. <clears throat> this is the new Sony. Uh, I think it's like 9500 uh, ES. Large 10 inch screen. It is a floating style, tablet style. Uh, we used it with Maestro's kit and harness specifically for Fords um, so looks pretty basic behind it nothing crazy to show you there but anyway it does support AM FM radio Sirius XM does do your Bluetooth for phone calls and music uh, it does have USB for charging and any kind of phone support or iPod or anything like that uh, it does integrate with the backup camera and sensors Obviously, with the with the Maestro harness, we're able to retain. Oh, hold on here. Retain the steering wheel controls and whatnot. <clears throat> As you can see, it also supports your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So any of your phone calls, your Google Maps or Waze, text messaging. So it's all done by voice. So uh, hey Siri, text this person, and then when you get a message, Siri will read it back to you. Uh, now playing basically kind of goes through any of your music apps that you currently have open. You do have like a quick screen that kind of shows you the uh, details on where you're at and stuff like that. Uh, and then the remainder apps that you might have. Uh, it's also uh, really big on hands-free, so you do get a voice button here. So take me to Pizza Hut. Okay, here's what I found. So really nice there. Oh, oh, hold on here. Um, on the top here, you got your home button, volume up and down, tracks. Uh, you also get these little buttons. They're actually, for the longest time, I didn't even know they were buttons, but you can program them to either do the you know, uh, home screen, turn the screen off. What's nice about the Ford kit as well using Maestro is that your buttons down here remain working as well which kind of gives it that, that factory uh, look and feel. Uh, same thing with changing the stations and stuff, you can do it from there as well. Source button. And then I can't remember what the rest of these, I guess we can kind of roll through them together. So we do get real time information uh, on the vehicle. So it is very accurate. It's getting the same information that our instrument cluster is getting. Tire pressure, if I were to open a door, let's see if this does what, yep. Shows battery voltage. We'll also show if I got check engine light. Let's scroll through the rest of them, see if we got anything. The remainder buttons, when you flash the module, you can program them to uh, do a bunch of things. So as you're going through the Maestro programming, you do have a lot of flexibility on what you want to program for the customer. Uh, but we do have track left and right down here as well. Uh, don't hold me to it. I haven't really uh, looked into it too much. I'm just trying to give you guys a brief run through here. But as you can see, it has a lot to it. Uh, multiple camera inputs. Uh, it does do wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So this is the phone that it's actually paired up to. Uh, and as you can see, we're not connected wired at all. So you do get that wireless functionality. But yeah, you got a lot to it. Also, uh, heat and air condition. Uh, so as I adjust that, we kind of get the, the readout as well. Um, heated seats. I don't know if you guys are in the area. If you are, uh, we are in uh, Dundalk in Baltimore. Stop by. Definitely give you a demo of it. If you got any questions, just leave them down in the comments section and uh, I'll try to help you guys out. Until next time, um, take it easy. See ya.